I was born the same week that NASA was founded, in October 1958. So by the time I was 10, 10 and a half, so was NASA. And there we were, walking on the moon. That's an extraordinary fact that within 10 and a half years of being born as an agency, we can go from practically nothing to having visited another world. Now, I remember what I was feeling back then. I was visiting my friend's extended family. We had taken a road trip from New York City, where I was born, to Virginia, Pamplin, Virginia, a very tiny town. I don't know if it's still tiny, but it was tiny back then. All the TV sets were on, and of course it was all the buzz that we were walking on the moon. And I remember, by the way, I was already interested in the universe. I, I've had that interest since I was nine. So I'm already there. I'm already thinking about the universe, the cosmos, space travel, and the like. So there we are, and I say to myself, okay, it's fine, walk on the moon. I now expect this to be a routine occurrence. If not daily, certainly monthly, several times a year. Now I look back on that time, and I regret not celebrating the landing more than I did. Had I known we would go to the moon in 1969 and stop going to the moon in 1972, and that moon voyages would be this slice of time in the history of the world, I would have said, whoa, this is amazing. Uh, let me celebrate this for the rarity that it will become. And in 1972, I would have been that much more sad that it would never happen again. So what is this about? There's this vast universe. And we're here fighting wars over limited resources. When the universe is infinite resources. I don't know what to do. I've tried. I've tried. Uh, maybe the next generation can put a flame, excuse me, put a rocket under people's butt. <laughs> Get us back exploring. Because without exploring, we all might as well move back to the cave because that's where we're headed otherwise. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, signing off. <laughs>